Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to take a look at Linux Mint 19.3. So I've just installed it and I've sort of set a few things up and I've downloaded Plank and a couple of themes for Plank. So I'm just going to set this desktop up how I like a desktop to be used and then we're going to have a look around and sort of see what it comes installed with out of the box. So let's just get our pan panel to the top. Um, so move and then it will highlight where you want it to go and you just click. And then we want to remove the grouped task buttons because I don't. Ah, uh, so the menu's in the way. So we need to go to here and remove grouped windows. And then that's kind of how I want it set up for the top bar. So I'm going to have plank. I have already installed. Can I not open that? The um, transparent panels extension here. So you can't really see it because of the wallpaper. So let's just change the wallpaper to think a bit more colourful and easy to see what's going on with the transparency. So let's just go into Trisha um, and let's pop open. I will have to change the touchpad settings because the scrolling is not the way I usually use it. So let no, no, not that one. Let's just go for clouds. What about this one, Mauritius? Okay, cool. So I'll leave it with Mauritius. So you can see the sort of the the transparent wind um, panel now. And hopefully if you maximize a window it will then sort of be dynamic and go to a solid color so that's basically all i need from my panel at the top so now we can get out of panel edit mode and we'll leave that like that so as i said i already installed plank so there we have plank now at the bottom and i've installed a couple of themes but we need to add plank to our session and start up and then what we'll do is we'll do a reboot check how much ram we're using and then we'll have a look around the system so let's go to the plus choose application um, plank so we'll add that so then that should be there when we start so let's do a quick reboot let's see what RAM we're using now before we do that so we're at 844 megabytes out of 16 let's do a quick reboot and then we'll see what it uses now quick it starts up so it should catch up with the um, capture card on the desktop in just a moment I did have a sort of a grub screen there to choose which there we go so it is auto login so how quick are we going yep not too bad so let's close that so first of all before we have a look around let me just go into the settings and you know set a few things up for how I need to use it so let's go into the touchpad and what we want to do is have a look where would it be on cinnamon here we go so now when I scroll down on the touchpad it will go down now I also want to go into the keyboard shortcuts. So I don't know if I've changed these yet or not. Let's just have a look. No, so I want to change these to just control and then the directional buttons. So let's go to control left. And then let's do the same for right. Control right. And then I want to go into uh, Windows. Um, here we go into workspace and then I want to move window to left and right so I want that to be control alt left and I want that to be control alt right so now let's give that a go there we go so that's moving the window each deck uh, workspace to the left or the right um, I'm not too keen on that sound it makes so hopefully we can change that um, sounds switch in workspace so let's disable that and hopefully there we go silence so it's quite a smooth animation to switch desktop so I'm I'll probably set some more keyboard shortcuts up as I sort of delve more into it so let's just have a look at what we get out of the box so it comes with draw pics and simple scanning your graphics your internet web browser is Firefox hex chat and your email client is Thunderbird comes with transmission for your torrents, the full liberal office suite, uh, celluloid for movies I'm going to assume, I'll probably install VLC, rhythm box, um, a backup tool and time shift which will take sort of system snapshots of your file system I do believe and then you could you know roll back so I took one as soon as I installed, um, didn't take long about 2 minutes and 30 seconds so that's that, let's have a little look at the settings so I do believe the online accounts, it uses GNOME online accounts. Which means if I install Evolution as well, I can get all of my 
Office 365 to work with it, including tasks, notes, and the calendar. So let's install Evolution and EWS. Um, is Thunderbird still? In, um, and I will un uninstall Thunderbird as well. So let's also have a look at the software store software manager so here is a GUI where you could sort of you know install new packages here um, so yeah this is GNOME accounts online so hopefully now that evolution is installed I will be able to set up my office 365 I won't do it live here and now so here's your software manager um, let's see if it's got flat pack or snap support so let's type in snap okay nothing on snap let's type in flat pack okay so you get something with flat pack here I wonder if it's got any flat packs installed let's do a flat pack list okay it doesn't appear to have any flat packs installed though I'm going to install neo fetch and also gimp um, I'm not sure what version it comes with so I'm probably going to be 2.8 I don't know it's going to have the newest one now so let's go and grab some more extensions um, as I say I'm not too familiar with cinnamon so this is all quite new to me really so let's go into the extensions. It's wobbly Windows Desktop Cube. <laughs> let's download that. Let's have a look at that. So let's press the plus. So now when we change desktops, oh, it says it might break my system. Let's hope not. There you go. You get a little cube effect. <laughs> um, I won't keep that light. Yeah, I'll probably just disable this one. <laughs> um, it's not letting me disable it. Let's just press the cancel. Yes. Is that sorted it? Perfect. Okay, so is it installed GIMP for us now? GIMP. So yeah, it's 2.8. I quite like the icon theme. It's like a bit like Mocker or Arc Icons, isn't it? Um, so I'll probably uninstall this version of GIMP and then just download it from their website or something to have a more recent version. But for now, we'll just keep that in the dock. So let's see what RAM we're using. So we're using about 1.15 at the moment. Let's pop open Firefox and see what version of Firefox we get. So let's go into help and about Firefox. Firefox version 7.1.0. Okay, I don't think that's super recent. Um, I think there's like 73 or maybe even more out of them. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Let's have a look at what version of LibreOffice it comes with. Let's open up Writer and then we'll pin that to our plank as well. And let's uninstall Thunderbird while we're here. And let's install some themes. Arc theme, mocha, icon, theme. Right, let's get back to here and see what version of LibreOffice we are running. Okay, yeah, so there's, um, it's not the newest version of LibreOffice either. We're, we're at version 6.0.7.3. Okay, let's pop back open to here. So at your top bar here, would it be the bottom bar here? This is where you sort of your update manager and you, if you had an update, a new update would go. I've got a little exclamation mark and a triangle here. I don't know if you can see it because of the, the face cam, but let's click on that. Okay, system reports, detecting problems, install language pack. Okay, let's install the language packs. So that's for, what programs is that for? That's for OpenOffice, Hyphenation and GIMP. Oh, and it also wants us to set the root password. They don't do it any particular way, do they? Let me just can I have a look. Let me just try this. This is probably what, yeah, this is what it wants me to do. Huh? Oh, what happened there? Let me do that again. Why is it doing that? It's doing a double input I tell you what I'll wait until maybe I'm doing it wrong I'll wait until this is finished with the language packs and we'll try and do that so we'll remember to do that before I wrap the video up so let's pop let's close some things now uh, okay we've got some stuff here as well let's uh oh we was installing the um, icons and stuff wasn't we of course so there's going to be a bit of traffic here a bit clogged up hopefully that sorts itself out so let's close a lot of this up now um, and let's grab a new wallpaper 
Let's just close Gil Windows for GIMP. Close all. Uh, minimal wallpaper. Reddit. So this is usually where I just get wallpapers from. I just sort of scroll Reddit or Image Girl or something. I did see one a couple of days ago that I quite like the look of. Um, no. Oh. Additional software to be installed. Uh, continue. Type in your password. Aha, uh -huh. this is what I like. Yeah, the neon lines. Let's see how it looks with this desktop. Does it have a dialogue just to set? Yes, it does. Okay, the fans are starting to spin up on my laptop now. Set desktop background. I don't know how much of that's being picked up on the microphone. Apologies if it's uh, quite loud. Right, pseudo password root. Yeah, it was how we did it. Let's try that again then. Right, I'll be very gentle with my enter key. There we go, that all worked. So are we still installing things before we wrap up the video? No, nope, that's done, that's done. Okay, so let's go into the theme settings now. So here's the theming, it's all their sort of their own default theming, mint Y, and then they've probably got different color gradients. So let's go to Arc Dark. Uh, it's not changed much by the looks of it. Let's go to Mocker on the icons. Let's go to Controls Arc Dark. There we go, and then let's change this to Arc Dark as well. Beautiful. Right, that's um, Linux Mint 19.3 Trisha. I'm probably going to spend a few days with it. I might do sort of an update video depending on sort of how I feel. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.